Hi everybody, this is James with Brain Candy Productions, and I am coming to you from here for an anime review. I'm going to explain why. Um, the last anime review that this was supposed to be was Fruits Basket, and I had a copyright strike on me, and I am no longer in good standing with YouTube, and I understand why. I understand the implications that uh, happened in which made me not in good standing with them. So it's nothing that I'm sloughing off. Uh, it's nothing that I'm saying, oh yeah, this totally is unjustified because fair use doesn't always mean you're right. Now, I will say this, however. Um, just because fair use doesn't mean that I'm right doesn't mean that I'm not entitled to my own opinion. So with that said, to give my opinion on the episode, we're going to do something a little funny. Um, let's see if you can all hear this if I crank this volume up. I am going to play for you my review that was taken down and banned worldwide of Fruits Basket. but. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see the seven, nine seconds of the video that I used, unfortunately. I will say this though, there was one uh, individual I've been trying to reach out to musicians to utilize their work in my videos, um, uh, X Rainbow Star, uh, at Big X, Small X, Rainbow Star, Small X, Big X. Uh, from YouTube and she does this really wonderful English rendition of Fruit Basket's opening and it was awesome and I had it playing toward the end of my video which I'm hoping you'll be able to hear here but um, yeah I did clip art like I normally do I used a little bit of the animation with the Funimation watermark now I do own the DVD and I could have very easily used the DVD in order to avoid the watermark, but it's not my property. It is the property of Funimation, it is the property of Tokyo TV, and or TV Tokyo, so I respect that, and it is still my opinion, so we're going to attempt to listen to my opinion, and I'm going to pantomime for you. Actually, I'll just give my review of my opinion. Our introduction into this anime is, well, a fine mix of sad and happy. Uh, sappy? Has. Um. Some word combination of sad and happy. Our protagonist, Toru Honda, appears to be living in a tent and goes on to explain that she's been there since after the accident. So, pulling punches, not a thing. Okay. After stumbling into the Soma's family front yard, we are introduced to one of the things I hate the most of any media-related thing ever. The exposition monster. The exposition monster lasts close to three minutes, but it does fill in some questions that will need answered as the plot progresses. To kind of fill you guys in on the exposition, we learn about the Chinese Zodiac and how the cat was tricked by the rat and was unable to make it to God's party on time, tricked into the next day, whereas he missed the party literally by an entire day, literally just exposition upon exposition however I will say this some of it is absolutely necessary it's just this episode is expositiony we learn further that the rat hitched a ride on the top of the ox and the first one in the door I mean real charming speaking of charming the Soma residence happens to be home to Yuki Soma, who is another main character 
And, well, kind of the crush of the whole high school, if you can believe that. They refer to Yuki as the Prince of Kawaii High. And Shigori Soma, who is, well, he keeps barking up the wrong tree. First clip. Like every tree. He is, as Yuki states, He's a bit of a flirt, but he's harmless. One of my favorite things in the series is the Prince Yuki fan club. I mean, take a look, see what I mean. Last clip. Watching Toru's friends Uo and Hana scare off the prince's fan club is a great demonstration of the wild range of comedy the show will have to offer. With some more exposition. We find out that Toru's mother was in a fatal car accident. Her grandfather took her in, but was living on a savings, which in turn forced Toru to find work and to top it all off. After living there for so many months, Toru's grandfather needed to renovate the house for like literally a whole other four months and asked Toru to stay with a friend. There's air quotes there. Sorry. That's terrible. Feeling guilty, Toru stayed out in the woods. She simply didn't want to be a bother to anyone. Don't worry though, the Soma boys are going to fix this. K kind of? After a day of school and a night of work, Toru Honda comes to... Well, Shigori and Yuki discovering her secret and living out in the woods. And a fateful landslide, a fever, and, well, some other really deep-seated feelings from our other supporting cast kind of take our protagonist and put them and the supporting cast together. With an exchange of housework and cooking, the Somas take on a border in Toru Honda. The first episode starts off... That's where I'm going to stop my review, or at least the playback of the review, for two reasons. One, I was going to talk about how this would be a good jumping pad for the series, and it was funny, but it still kind of give you gave you enough story to go off of, and how the exposition, even though it was long and tedious and boring at times, they tried to spice it up, make it funny, give us little like home movie family clip art and stuff. Um, however, honestly, like I'm doing this review um, behest of the. Uh, community on Facebook which uh, some of some of the requests were not good and my wife actually requested that I do fruits basket so I decided yeah I'll, I'll do fruits basket um, because it was a cute anime um, I was originally going to do an episodic review however today I'm telling you because of the copyright strike and, you know, and I get it. I need to explain this really thoroughly. I understand that I use someone else's material in order to express my thoughts on that material. Does it make it fair use? There's a gray line. Internet neutrality is gone. It's just not a thing anymore. So, with that said, yes, I understand what I did and I accept my consequences of having my video that I worked three hours on uh, taken down. Does it upset me? Yes. Um, to be honest, this is one of those animes I don't know if it was in production 
while the manga was in production, but you don't even get half of the story of what the manga provides, and it leaves you completely and utterly hanging, and there is no resolution at the end. Zero resolution. It is one of those hype trains that goes to Nowheresville, and I hate those kind of anime. I was a big Ranma One Half fan um, until I learned that season seven was only going to take us to meeting his mother. Oh boy, no resolution. But fooled you because the manga doesn't have a resolution either. <laughs> and, you know, its successor, Inuyasha, by the same artist, by the way, um, guess how little resolution it has? Zero! You're right! So these are the kind of animes I absolutely despise. When they don't give you a re resolution, they're a preview to the manga, and they keep you hanging. The only, the only exception to this rule for me is 1996's Berserk. That was the manliest man to ever man the manly man, and it gets a pass on resolution because it brings you in, in from the golden arc and into the age of the black swordsman. And it, it's meant to be a preview for the manga. They knew the manga would not be anywhere near done to, uh, with production. And a true ending was nowhere near in sight. But they wanted to give you that much. And it had a limited budget. It was only canned for 26 episodes. And I hate to say it, but the new CG uh, Berserk is good. I don't care what any of you say. It's good because the voice acting is good. Yes, the animation is weird. It's, again, a low-budget anime. It can't live up to the expectations of the three movies that we had. And why am I going all into this? Because I'm getting my frustrations out. I'm getting my frustrations out on this anime because it has no resolution and the manga is literally so much better but not nearly as good as other mangas of the same genre and this thing of not completing a, a, a story giving us zero resolution in everything that we've watched we invested time in these things and, and we get zero resolution kind of like how in my copyright strike I'm not getting resolution because I use someone's eight seconds of material and I talked about their anime and how it was funny and even though it didn't give us a resolution it's the journey it's the little daily struggles in life that really should keep you going isn't that great yeah is this an existential crisis no is this me rambling at a camera? You bet.